Hello everyone, so I wanted to make a video because I'm feeling so inspired right now um, of just life, you know, when you wake up and you have some epiphanies after weeks of being in an emotional roller coaster um, and kind of reversing in your old ways and kind of getting lost you know in the mind um, and that has been the case for me I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna be truthful because this is a journey and um, I'm learning every single day about myself about life about um, why we're here truly 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 and let me tell you um, this is not easy you know this is not uh, you know something that you can just ignore um, and you know it's it's all encompassing you and your mental health and uh, <clears throat> it's very interesting because when you are balanced um, emotionally and uh, mentally emotions are is the mind when you are balanced period and you are in control of how you're feeling of your intentions you are in control of the mind you are in control of yourself you are on top literally you are on top of the world okay you are on top of your world and everything outside of you is listening and is it is responding it is responding to your world okay whether it's people places or things okay <laughs> and I saw the immense contrast of how I've been feeling emotionally when I've been in the lower realms of myself you know and it's like I, I, I was at an all-time high and immediately like boom back on the lower realms lower aspects of self or should I say past versions um, it's very interesting how we can spiral and loop in reverse and what I saw was because this is all uh, psychology this is all uh you know this is the internal mind and we can get lost in the physicality too much thinking everything is physical when in fact the world is created from within and that's why when you wake up from a ma an amazing dream you automatically have a uh, a sense of depression or feeling uh, anxiety because you open your eyes and you're in this physicality and we can get lost in the illusion that this is all there is you know when in fact it's not and it's truly truly what you create okay this is truly it's creation and you are creation creation creating you are creation creating right and nothing is outside of you and so there there's been a huge contrast in the environment when I am drowning in my waters right drowning in my waters um, everything else succumbs it is if that's that word succumb, succumbs or you know it just comes all up over and I'm basically drowning you know and everything else outside of me has control or a grip over me where I can't get out I feel stuck I feel limited you know and most of us are feeling like that feeling like that the external environment has a grip on us control over us whether it's our job you know or our family members or our environment just you know being stuck in a location thinking you can't leave you know, thinking you can't do anything, 
you know, being stuck maybe in a relationship. Maybe you feel like you can't get out of it for some sort of reason. When in fact, you are the power, you are the controller of your reality and you can get above the mind and be literally on top of the world, on your world, on top of the world. Like we are mere reflections of the almighty creator. And if not the creator, then who? So we have to own this power inside of us, the power of the mind, the power of creation, of being a creator of your reality. There's already, there's already been enough suffering, enough victimization, and now there's, there's deeper concepts, there's deep, deeper uh, levels now that we can go to the other side now and become creators. There's, it's a polarization, it's an opposite. And we can go now where the pendulum swings, it's always going to swing back. And that's where we're kind of at right now, I feel, during these stages of feeling that, you know, the government has control over us, that we have to do this, that we have to go out with, you know, coverings on our face. When really, when you're on top of the world and you know, you know instinctually what's going on, right? You know, you feel it in your gut. Now it's time for you to be on top of your world and let the external environment listen to you and respond to you by how you view things, by how you are taking that shift of perception and maneuvering the environment. You see how that is? You see how that is? So, um, it's, it's pretty interesting, you know, and there's no rule book to life. We always constantly are Googling things out of fear. Can we do this? Can we do that? Can we? It's like, just do it. Like, fuck, skip Google and fucking go out into the, the real world <laughs> and just do it. You know, it's like, what is stopping us from truly doing it and, and like really like going out into the world and just, you know, offering, offering your art, going out on the streets and just putting your artwork out there and just, you know, like, it's like those type of things that is like inspirational, motivational, just do it, go out there, show yourself, you know, start your business out in the streets Fuck the paperwork, fuck the government, fuck all that shit. Just do it. And you start to see. It's like the, the mentality of the child. Where the child, children are just so free spirited. And 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 they don't they're not thinking about anything complicated. It is just simple, it's straightforward, and everything works out in the end. Because when you overcomplicate things, when you overanalyze things, you're just diminishing the energy and the energy is naturally whole children are whole we are whole we have just been fragmented so much to think we got to do so much we got to we got to be this way we got to look like this we got to have this amount of whatever and it's complicated when really we can just preserve what our heart is telling us to do truly you know, and it's simple. It's so simple. And that's what nature shows us. That's what animals show us. That's what children show us. That life is simple. That abundance is a, recipro a reciprocity. I don't even know if I said that right. <laughs> it's a give and take, you know, and we have to give to receive. And it's simple. It's like nature knows exactly what it needs to do. It's not it's not overcomplicating whether she should uh you know rain here or rain there or it's like it's instinctual. It's flowing and it's instantaneous and uh it's fluid. It's fluid, it's fluid, it's fluid. And <clears throat> 
So it's very interesting how when we get lost in our emotional traps, because that's truly what it is, emotional ties, emotional bonds, whether it's to our parents, our family members, thinking we can't get out the box, we can't, we're limited, we're limiting ourselves constantly. And that's why uh, you're suffering. That's why you're playing the victim, because you're limiting your yourself. You're limiting yourself in a box. And it's mind-boggling. It's mind-blowing. I know. I know. But this is what psychedelics show you, you know? It, it shows you the fragments that have been separated from your wholeness, from your inner child, from everything that has been lost over time, you know, growing up as an adult, we lose that spark. We truly do due to what we've been taught. I can't stress that enough. So it's like, how can we get, how can we go back to that? How can we, how can we move forward with positive energy again? How can we spiral and, and spark that flame of the soul? Of the, of the heart, of everything that is divine, purity. You know, how can we spark that flame? And it's truly kind of remembering that inner child spark, you know, of what we, what do we want to create? What do I want to create today? What, what can I create today? Whether it's being of service to others, you know, making a song, you know, playing some music, listening to the birds and, and, you know, nourishing your, your animals, um, nourishing your garden <clears throat> or going out in the world and, and being of service where you're giving your art, you're giving what you create with no expectations with no expectations, just that the joy of giving is the inner child of giving a hug, a smile, a laugh, you know, like this is stuff that makes us, this is what is going to continue that upward spiral of unconditional love for every one. And the more of us that stand within our power and and invoke clarity, invoke unconditional love, invoke that create that creator energy, that creator energy that wants to be a part of the movement of this world. The world, we are the foundation of how this world will be in the future. Okay? It is not it is not who you think is in control because let me tell you something they are not in control of anything that is an illusion the only thing in control is the divine spark of the creator and that is in each and every one of us so I'm, I'm so inspired today. I, this is what is going to help us, you know, evolve and, and healing takes place in this because we have been so traumatized. We have been so traumatized by the way we have been conceived, by the way our parents have been conceived and so on. This is generational and it's to the point where how can we heal that and repair and then create something new? What can we create that can bring forth families that are full of unconditional love and 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 you know, beautiful healing births with no interference and and more uh, modalities of healing because there's tons out there. And the foundational one for me has been meditation. 
and I'll probably, if anybody's interested, make a meditation video with me because that is something that has been helping me so much. I can't stress it enough. You know, nobody's going to heal you but you. And that is just a fact because when everybody else is wounded, how can anyone heal you? And there's many healers out there, though. You know, there's many healers out here. We are healers in disguise and we don't even know it. You know, we have the the feeling of healing and helping everybody but ourselves. And that's the thing where we can't do because that ends up wounding us even more. We have to just heal ourselves first so that we can heal the world. And once we start doing these small action steps every single day the difference oh my the difference i'm not going to i'm not going to tell you it's easy though because i've been you know it's it's crazy how when you activate certain things that need to be healed people come into your life to shake more things up inside of you and you think it's the end of the world right you end up losing things you end up uh, maybe someone coming into your life and triggering you, but it's not their fault. It's just everything that you've been through that is still mapped in the body. It's still stuck in the body and you think it's your external environment when really it's you. It's deep down inside of you. And, uh, you know, being triggered is good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you that because it's true you know I've, I've been so triggered heavily okay and every single trigger has almost it's like I, I see two perspectives of it it's like okay my emotional side I'm triggered as hell right and then this side is telling me well it's because you know and then flashes of memory come and, and and more epiphanies and revelations and then I'm seeing things clearer from a higher view and then I can come in and heal that side and spread light and awareness on this side more and nurture it more and care for it more when I finally feel like I'm whole in that space again where I can move on to greater levels of healing and that's how we start it's purely energetic it's purely energetic and you know people people how people go about their dreams and their life goals is linear it's linear it's external when really we need to be going within and reversing these wounds and these triggers and these past experiences that are still in us that are blocking us from actually from blocking everything that wants to naturally flow to us, whether it's, you know, love, true love, you know, uh, healthy relationships with friends and, and family, business opportunities, you know, there's so much things that naturally flow to us, but we are wounded and hurt inside. We have emotional blocks. We have programs that block us from actually receiving everything that naturally flows to us. And it's like we think we have to go, go out there, go, go out there and work, 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 and stress ourselves out even more to fit in when really we have to calm the nervous system breathe feel our heartbeat and feel what the hell is going on inside of you this is uh and once you do that every, things start to clear things start to alleviate in the physical things start to open up in the physical and you are held and kept eternally. Okay. 
you are held and kept eternally. And sometimes you need to lose things to gain something new. And that is what I am learning right now. The more you detach, I'm not even going to use that word because a lot of people don't really understand that word, but the more you just back away from everything that is stressing you out and the further you get to the point where you're in a surrender mode and you're just surrendering and you're releasing and you're just allowing your body to open up to release to release to release that is when the floodgates open You need to put yourself first and this is this is this is just what I wanted to share today. This is what I wanted to share. So I'm just here, you know, enjoying my coffee, you know. As I awoke, I felt very inspired, felt on top of my world to create. Because when you are on top of your world, nothing outside of you can tell you anything. So, thank you all for watching, for being here, truly. And, um, yeah, thank you. Peace.